Well, hello folks, and welcome to uh, Bruce's Best Bits Walk Around. So I can show you some of the little golden nuggets that we've got in this week, and nice stuff for your home. Right, general sale, and that is on the 14th of December, the penultimate sale prior to our Christmas sale, which is on the 21st. Anyway, on we get. Now, this piece is a piece of Moorcroft, and it is signed, uh, artist signature, moulder signature on the bottom. And it's a piece of Moorcroft, which is very, very collectible, and it holds its price, likely to go up. So that's a bit of a buy. Now then, in here as well, we've got a couple of other pieces. Nice piece here of Hummel. That's the little German boy with his trumpet. Gobel, of course. There we go. Now, on top of that, we have got a nice piece of Bezic. If you'd like to take this little pussy home, then that's all for you. But it's Bezic. Right, okay, moving on, we've got the usual stuff in the glass case. Uh, bits of jewellery, there's some nice, oh that's nice. See, that's Scottish kilt brooch, that's for keeping the bottom of your kilt well held down. And moving on as we go, oh, that's a nice one. Now, when I was a kid, coming up and started to shave, Dad pulled out one of these. And uh, he said, right, boy, I'm going to teach you how to shave. And that's exactly what you do. Just shave away. If you learn how to do it, you've got the angle right. But we've got several of these in. Good for barbers. Sweeney Todd. Right, OK, moving on. We have got here, oh, right. This is, we're going to hang that up in a second. Now it's a very nice mirror and it's a metal frame that's been gilded and there's another one to go with it but this is much lighter, this is a more modern copy with uh, a resin frame but that's a nice one that is, a bit of French, um, a bit of French work there, gold or maloo I would call it. Anyway, so we're moving along. There we are. Now this little piece needs its decanters, but you can find them. This I wore at a masked ball in Venice. So nobody recognised me. Well, they did, because I had my jacket on. But there we go. So we've got a little charity box there somebody's bought in. Now, this one is... Here is a small Bible box, Clark's box. You carry that around and you pump it down and you, away you go, you can write on it. Now we've got a nice brother um, uh, sewing machine, right? A uh, very expensive piece, but there's something wrong with that, so that's going out cheap. Now, as this is a, drawer, uh, a, a general sale, there we are. You can have your model. Actually, she's wearing a, you know, it looks like a sandpaper polar neck jumper. Well, they all feel like sandpaper to me. Um, and a nice lot of clocks. Now, that's a nice one. See, it's a bit dirty because it's come out of somebody's, uh, somebody's loft. But that's a nice looking thing. Now, then, we've got an air rifle. Chinese, not very brilliant. Uh, this is the end of a Stanley telescope now that actually goes on the telescope and that's your viewer so you can spot your star uh, but this is this piece adjustable there but it's to go on a telescope that piece uh, it's one of these gem things now here we have an apothecary set of scales now they're in uh, this glass case because when you use them they are for weighing very very light weights very light 
So if they're outside, the, the draft or the wind might affect them. So that's when they're in the glass case. Oh, look at this. Look, multi-clocks. Here we are. Look, loads of little electric clocks. You could use those in your uh, <coughs> doll's house, couldn't you? There we are. There's a signed photograph there of um, um, his uh, Rat Pack. Can't think of his name. Um, oh, dear. That was bad, wasn't it? And it's Frank Sinatra, but it's one of these old films. Yeah, 91 he signed that. Now then, here we are. The Jacques Babington set. Now, Jean Jacques are the best uh, sort of toy type maker in the country. They make all sorts. They make chess sets and croquet sets. Now, this piece right, is a cape base from Huntley and Palmer's. All right. Now, um, this was probably, I think, about 1930s, 40s. It has its crate with it, as you can see. Now, in the war, you couldn't get sugar. So what people used to do is get a really fancy base, right? And then over the top of it, they would put a plaster wedding cake that would add all the frills and bells. And, but underneath that was just an ordinary light fruit cake because you couldn't get the sugar to make the icing. So people had to do, right? And that's a shame, but there you are. Now this, I love. I reckon that's beautiful. Now that's a really old light milking stall style. I don't suppose that's ever seen a milking stall, but... Three legs always keep square, four legs always rocks. And somebody's put this lovely um, poppies on the top, right? Now that, you could put anywhere in your house. You could put that in your lounge, in your bedroom, anywhere. Beautiful piece. And it's got a bit of age to it. There we go. Now then, we have got a Marks of Power, right? Bulldozer. Yeah, so that's battery operated. I think it works okay, but there we go. Uh, now then, what have we got here? Oh, it's a Mingus party. These are, and we should have had one out. Oh, there we are. Look, they're nice. Just have them out for Christmas, put all your stuff in. Uh, this is a Victorian or a little after, it could be Edwardian, a uh, shotgun case. So you break it, put it in there, and you can carry it around quite easily. Now then, what have we got here? Oh, this is old. Now this is probably about 1920s, 1930s, and it's a shotgun cleaning kit, or a rifle cleaning kit, it's quite small in there, and then that one's for doing your rifle, that little one. And then this bigger one's for going down your shotgun. And there might even be... Oh, that's the polisher for the inside of the shotgun. And a little bit of gun oil. It's got it all there. Everything's there. And that'll work just as easy today as it would have done when it was first bought. Now then, if you really want to go mad, there we go. A helicopter. Right? Now, we've got a lot of these drones and helicopters in this week. Now, that one looks absolutely fine. We've got the remote control. So, if you really want to annoy your neighbours, send over a helicopter. 1940s, wood was at a premium. So, what they did was they made up things with just ordinary bits of wood. And then they wrap them in this. Just to give them another look, a different look. That's tea, tea trolley with trays and a nice cake rack. But it's something different. And if you're into retro, that's what you want. That is that is definitely a talking point, that all there. Now then, another nice stall. That's a bit of burr walnut there. Give that a varnish. That'll look great. 
Now, this is definitely not a milking stool. Four legs. Always remember the rule. Three legs stands up straight. Four legs rocks like buggery. Now then, uh, oh, look at this, right? Blue star line. Now this is a, a traveling trunk. Put all your gear in there. Now it's, what do we got? That's not backstage, is it still on there? No, it doesn't. Room, something, baggage room. It's white star line. So this has been on one of the big liners for a trip out. There we go. Oh, and you've got a free handbag. And a free wallet. But this is the sort of thing now, it's a bit grubby at the moment, but that would scrub up and it's in good nick. So there we go. Right. Now then. Oh. Right, now then, just carrying on, uh, this is a sort of a mixed lot, right? That we often have these mixed lot where people get bits of junk and they don't know what to do with them. Now, always in these are some good bits, right? Now, you've got a lovely little wooden carved wooden box there, probably an old perfume box, and there's bits of jokey stuff like that, so you can pull the handle on that and that's a bit of a joke there's a fish there there's a couple of uh, knife stands which give them a coat uh, shine up they'd be lovely and but these boxes go for next to nothing and yet they can have little nuggets inside them oh i remember these these are these fold up purses isn't they come somewhere open but anyway that's a fold up purse uh, tuners, oh what's that, that is, oh that's nice, little snuff box, right, but a nice little snuff box, but there you go, now that snuff box alone probably worth about five or eight quid, right, but, and then you've got tuning forks, there, yeah. uh, all sorts, but it's just in a little box, looks like a load of rubbish, but actually when you look at it, it's not, now this is a printer's, you can see it's a drawer, but this is a printer's drawer, so he keeps all his, um, all his uh, setting uh, letters, all in different boxes, uh, little compartments. This box is full of ten of these. Now, we tried this out earlier on. One of our guys tried it out. He wasn't very good at flying it, but it was work it's working. And it's going, and you charge this up. You can charge these up as well, that's the remote, right? But this works absolutely fine. Oh, look, I've just seen one of my favourites. Oh, there's another trunk up there. See, that's been all over the world, that one. This. Now, that looks a bit grubby because it needs to wash. But this is what they call barge art. Now, when the old barges were going down the uh, canals, they had not a lot to do. They're just sitting there, the wife and all that, sitting there doing nothing. So what they used to do is get these and they would paint them up and then sell them to people that they were going past tourists when they went through a weir or a, a lock. Uh, they sell these and then... Come on, but that's bar jar. It's quite collectible. I've just seen this one. Now, this is also a steam trunk. But you'll notice it's all this banding around here. Now, this is to make it stronger. Because they used to pack it pack it up on the boat and chuck it about. Now, you know what's, how bad it is on an aircraft. Now, we've got a sticker in there, British made. Uh, but that's a good solid trunk. Probably Victorian. Well, there we go, carrying on. Now, this, we do everything here, a general sale. Now, this is a kiln saddle. Now, you notice it's got a very high back to it, right? Which is really handy uh, if you've got a bit of a bucking horse, because uh, mine used to. But it's a kiln saddle made in Colchester, so it's an Essex girl, right? But it's in really good condition. 
It's been used, but it's a nice thing. And this one, even better. But that's a small saddle for a small bottom. Well, that's about uh, it for the walkabout today. And don't forget, this is for the auction for the 14th. The catalogue will be out so you can view on Thursday about 4.30. Friday, 8 till 5 is the viewing. And on Saturday, the auction starts at 10 o'clock, but we're open at 8, so you can have another sniff round. If you're using the internet to bid, it's easyliveauctions.com forward slash Harrison's. Don't forget, subscribe, send us a comment. All right, so I'll see you down at the auction on Saturday.